Hello, Mindy. Here I am in beautiful Midtown Sacramento, California. I just left church early because I am so congested and I'm very paranoid about getting sick. I gotta cross the street, hold on. Okay, let's not get hit by a car, okay. Oh God, traffic going both ways does not stop and it's very scary, okay, anyway. But I cannot go home just yet because tomorrow I have a job interview at Chipa, 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 Chipotle. Chipotle. It's my first proper job interview. So, of course, I need to go find something to wear. So, I thought that I would bring you along for the trip to help me find a great interview outfit. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Okay, right now I'm on my way to the train station, so I'll see you shortly. So, I just picked my nose in the middle of the street, which I feel like you're allowed to do when you're ill. The only problem is when that burger gets stuck to your finger and you can't flick it anywhere because it's stuck to your appendages and um, just does not want to leave or you know move on with its life. It's just just hang around. I eventually did one of these things where you like you flick but you also wipe and I was like and finally it left. Ooh, look, it's our reflection. It's a window reflecting in. Oh my god, my arm looks really bad. If you're wondering why I suddenly got gigantic, it's because I had to switch over to my phone from my iPod because my iPod has way too much music on it and I no longer have space for a recording video on it. Um, I was trying to tell you that some birds just flew out of a bush and scared the living shit out of me. And at first I was like, ah, oh my god, you birds, what are you? And then I remembered my amazing California Community College education. And I was like, how dare you scare me, you morning doves. I know what you're called. I know what you are. And um, it just added a lot of impact to my argument. Welcome back, Mindy. I hope you like my sunglasses. They are from the Dollar Tree. We are starting this shared adventure at Kohl's because Ross is way over there and Kohl's is right here. And I'm wearing these shoes exhibit A that are already creating hot spots on the bottom of my feet, so. $50, but have you ever seen a cuter dress in your entire existence? I didn't think so. Ugh, I hate money so much. It's my third rack so far, and I have found zero things that are actually in my size. So, we're off to a good start. This isn't completely typical of my usual shopping experience. I don't know what's happening here. What is, what are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, I kind of want to try that one on anyway. I decided to take some photos of the outfits that I put together. Um, there are a few in there that were wrists that were taken. I'm now home, 
So I thought that um, I would just give a little recap of what went down at the. Oh, the kitty's so cute. He's so cute. This is Teddy, who I like, <laughs> who I like to call Dog Cat because he's quite large. He's not even that fat. I mean, he's chubby, but he's just got a big frame. Isn't that right, Dog Cat? Mm -hmm. He's so. <laughs> He hates me so much. Anyway, so I'm home, and I know that the burning question on everybody's mind is, why the hell would you make this video, Abby, of a shopping trip because no one cares? Well, everyone except Mindy, I don't care what you think. I know that Mindy would have pushed the video, and so that's why I made it, okay? Because I know that she cares, even if no one else does. Anyway, okay. Right. So, the next burning question on everybody's mind is, which outfit did I pick? Well, I picked this one with a slight amendment. I would like to say first and foremost that the blazer and pencil skirt combination, I love it. It makes me feel like a queen of enterprise, just a corporate champ, like I could just hire a bunch of people and then fire them. And have lunch appointments and I don't know, buy Korea. You know how it goes. I feel powerful. I feel really powerful. The interesting thing about this blazer is it's actually size too small, but I don't plan to ever button it. And maybe if I lose weight sometime in the next 25 years, then I could button it. So the only change that I made was that the shirt that you see in that picture, obviously, you may notice that it's a little tight on my tits. So, you know, it's got like the little pleats where it really wants to burst open like I'm in a, you know, office porno and I get thrown across the desk and whatever. So, um, uh, I decided probably not for an interview. That would be good. So I went back. They didn't have that particular shirt in a larger size. So I got one that's just a little different, but I think that it's still good. So it just looks like this. It just, the other one was white with black polka dots. This one just has a black collar and a little thing down the middle. Next, here is my pencil skirt. High-waisted, very nice material that will deflect cat hair. My super professional uh, mini CEO blazer. I decided to go really classy so that I could use it for all future interviews, like if I want to get a job on campus next year or, you know, what if I get a fancy internship with something in my skill set, which is very limited? Now, I just wanted to show you my final purchase of the day, which I think is really the best uh, deal that I got. I went to the Dollar Tree to get some pasta for dinner, and I found these cheese whales, which I think were especially invented for my own health and happiness. Well, Mindy, I hope you enjoyed taking a shopping trip with me today. Thanks for helping me pick out an interview outfit, and I hope you approve of my choice. I love you more than all the all the cheese whales in the world. You're my cheese whale, Mindy. You're my cheese whale. Bye!